gonna spend some time uh, learning how to release a little inner thigh muscle that's really close to the groin called pectineus. This is in the adductor group, so it's a muscle that draws your legs towards each other. <clears throat> this muscle um, is, can cause aching in the groin, but it also can cause just this deep, constant pull that can lead to problems in the outer hip muscles, the gluteus minimus and medius, or just cause aching in your outer hip, which could even lead to aching down the leg, which could even lead to an inability to stand on one leg without the hip going out. And some of that is caused by this little short tight muscle called pectineus. Pectineus keeps the legs drawn in and it can ache in your groin, but you may not even feel the aching in the groin. Sometimes it's just stuck tight. And if you, and then you would feel the symptoms of the opposite muscle group, which is gluteus minimus and medius. So when rolling, when you're gonna roll pectineus, um, you might think, oh yeah, I notice how it feels in your hip when you're doing that. People who need to roll pectineus are anyone who stands on one leg more than the other. As you stand on one leg, you tilt the pelvis off to that side and shorten up one side of the groin, so you'd wanna spend some time around there. If you're a leg crosser and you spend time crossing your legs, that's gonna shorten all the adductor muscles. So you'd wanna spend some time on those inner thighs and also in pectineus. So let's get on the floor and roll this muscle out. So to release that short pectineus little adductor muscle on the inside of the groin, I'm gonna lay on the floor and I'm gonna release my left side so I'm gonna bend my left knee out to the side. I'm gonna do this with the ball right on the floor. I have a nice uh, larger but kind of soft ball because we're right near that femoral triangle area, so I don't wanna dig a really hard ball into this spot, or I could do some damage to the nerve and blood supply that um, goes down into the leg. So I might find that larger tendon if I kinda roll forward with my body, I find there's a big old tendon there. So I wanna be just above that tendon and sink down into the ball. I wanna keep engaging my belly a little bit so that I'm not collapsing in my low back and straining my lower spine. Then I'm gonna tilt and tuck my pelvis. As I tuck my pelvis, the ball presses into the pectineus. I'm gonna hold and take a breath. And I might rock up and down a little bit here. Just clearing, because I have a nice soft ball, a sort of cushy ball, I can go right on to the pubic bone a little bit. I can work a little deeper in the groin because I'm not gonna tear anything with this ball. If I need a little more pressure, a little more depth, instead of using a firmer ball, I would use a yoga block and I would slide it right underneath that area and place the ball right in the groin and drop down onto it. And then here I tilt and tuck again. So if you need a little deeper pressure than just working on the floor, this is a great way. And again, if you don't have a yoga block, you can just use a Tupperware container or a saucepan or a lasagna pan, any of that will help, it will work. And then I move off. And then stretching the pectineus, anything that opens the legs. Baddha Konasana, sitting with the soles of the feet together and the knees out to the sides, and just any kind of wide angle pose will do. So to stretch the pectineus muscle, you wanna come into any form of a wide angle pose. And this could be standing and shifting your hips and pelvis side to side, or just getting up on the floor and stretching your legs wide. 
I want to be mindful to let the movement come from my pelvis rolling forward and back and not uh, allowing my upper body to drop and strain my back. So I want to stay nice and lifted through here, lower ribs drawing in and just rocking forward and back um, with the pelvis kind of rotating around the femurs. I want to take a deep breath. And do a little rocking and releasing this pectineus muscle can alleviate a deep ache in the groin. So if you're having any groin stuff, really try doing this work um, every day for a week and see what happens.